Soliloquy of the Spanish Cloister by Robert Browning, a dramatic monologue. Speaker, a rather neurotic, unhappy monk in a Renaissance cloister in Spain. There go my heart's abhorrence. What do your damned flower pots do? If hate killed men, Brother Lawrence, God's blood would not mind kill you. What, your myrtle bush wants trimming? Oh, that rose has prior claims. Needs its leaden vase filled brimming. Hell dry you up with its flames. At the meal we sit together. Salve tippy. I must hear wise talk of the kind of weather, sort of season, time of year. Not a plenteous cork crop, scarcely dare we hope oak galls, I doubt. What's the Latin name for parsley? What's the Greek name for swine snout? Phew! We'll have our platter burnished, laid with care on our own shelf. With a fire new spoon we're furnished, and a goblet for ourself. Rinsed like something sacrificial, ere it is fit to touch our chaps. Marked with L for our initial. <laughs> There's Lily Snaps. Saint forsooth. While Brown Dolores squats outside the convent bank with San Chicha, telling stories, steeping tresses in the tank. Blue black lustrous, thick like horsehairs. Can't I see his dead eye glow? Bright as to our Barbary corsairs. That is if he'd let it show. When he finishes refection, knife and fork he never lays crosswise to my recollection, as I do in Jesus' praise. I, the Trinity, illustrate, drinking watered orange pulp, in three sips the Aryan frustrate, while he drains his at one gulp. Oh, those melons, if he's able, we're to have a feast so nice. One goes to the abbot's table, all of us get each a slice. Mm, how go on your flowers, none double? Not one fruit sort can you spy, strange. And I, too, at such trouble, keep them close-nipped on the sly. There's a great text in Galatians. Once you trip on it, entails twenty-nine distinct damnations. One sure if another fails. If I trip him just a-dying, sure of heaven as sure can be, Spin him round and send him flying off to hell, a manichee. Or my scrofulous French novel on grey paper with blunt type. Simply glance at it, you grovel hand and foot in Belia's grip. If I double down its pages at the woeful sixteenth print, when he gathers his green gauges, open sieve and slip it in it. Or there's Satan... One might venture, pledge one's soul to him, yet leave such a flaw in the indenture as he'd miss till past retrieve. Blasted lay that rose acacia we're so proud of. Hi, zai, hein. There's vespers, plena gratiae, ave virgo. Grr, you swine!